Hello and welcome to what to do if you've forgotten everything that you need to log into your WordPress installation. I'm Javis Lewis and I'm here to tell you this has happened to all of us and I can talk you through it. Let's have a look at a couple of scenarios here. So you've got a WordPress installation and you don't quite remember the username used to log into the site. Well, we can help with that. Just as likely you remember the username, but you don't quite remember the password that you need to log into the WordPress website. Well, no problem. WordPress has a built-in function that will help you send a link to your email address and then generate a new password. And in so doing, it will also send you the username. So you're kind of covered on both of those occasions. It gets a little bit trickier if you don't quite remember the email address that you signed up with. Even though WordPress can send you a link if you don't remember what email address to check, well, you're out of luck. But we can help with that as well. And the last point, which is very dramatic, if the email address that you've signed up with no longer exists, so there's no way you can check it and we can address all these four problems. Let's start with the first two options, the username and password problem. That's a fairly easy one. I'll demonstrate how that works. So here's the back end of my website, the WP Guru. And in this case, I do remember my username and password, but imagine I don't. Then there's a little link here that says lost your password. So this is exactly on the same screen that you used to log into your installation. And if you click that link, lost your password, then you'll get to a very similar screen that just says, please enter your username or email address. You will receive a link to create a new password via email. So the nice thing about that is if somebody attempts to change the password while you don't know about it, there's always that confirmation link via email that you have to click so no one malicious can do anything. So if I remember my username, that's great. I'll put my username in. If I don't remember my username but I remember my email, I put the email in. So I'm going to choose to just put my username in. But username and email will just work as well. Click it and WordPress will tell you check your email for the confirmation link. So up until now, nothing has happened. All that's happened is the system's generated an email and you need to go into your email and obviously check it. Well, let's see if it's arrived. There we go, that's the email that's just arrived. The WP Guru password reset. So we click on it and it says here, someone requested that the password be reset for the following account, wpguru.co.uk. It tells you the username here. So if you've forgotten the username, this is your username. If you now remember the password, go back and log in. If you still don't remember your password, not a problem. There's a link here on the bottom. That's a very cryptic key attached here. And if you click that, then WordPress will take you to this screen. Again, it looks a bit like the login window, but this now lets you assign a new password. And it'll even give you a little strength indicator. So as a rule of thumb, if I just type password here, It'll tell you, well, that's very weak. If you type password with a capital P, this is a little bit better, so it's medium. But you really want to use a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, as well as numbers. So if I put a number in here, one, two, three, then out of a sudden it's stronger. So the longer it is, the stronger it gets. If there's capitals and non-capitals, as well as numbers, it's, it's stronger. And the other thing that you can do is use things like uh, special characters such as percent and ampersand and all that. So if you do all that, then you know that's going to be a really strong password. Just make sure you can remember it, basically. Once you've done that, I mean, let me just uh, let me just try this here. I'll use password. The two need to match. You just say reset password. And once you've done that, WordPress will tell you your password has been reset. You can now log in with obviously the username and the password that you've just created. And hey presto, there we go, we're in the back end. Well, that's all fair enough if you remember your email address or if the email address still exists. But what if it doesn't? What if your email address no longer exists and you can't check your email, even if WordPress is kind enough to send you that link? Well, in that case, we need to be a bit more on our toes and uh, get our friend PHP my admin on the case and have a look in the WordPress database and fiddle with some values there. It's a bit more involved, but I will show you how to do this. What you need is access to PHP my admin and your hosting provider will help you out there. So this is a local instance of my 
test site here. It's running on my local system, I'm using MAMP for this, and what I need here to access this WordPress installation is PHP MyAdmin. Thankfully MAMP provides this via the start page here, but your hosting provider will tell you how to access PHP MyAdmin. So eventually you should come up with a screen similar to this, and you're going to have to figure out which database you're using for this installation. If you don't know that, log in via FTP and have a look in your WP config file. If you examine that, it will show you what your database is and even the login credentials for the database. What it won't show you is how to get access to PHP MyAdmin for your hosting service. So my database here is podcast, and if I click on that, this is a similar setup that you'll see. Graphics may be a little bit different, version differences from PHP MyAdmin, but the gist of it is you get to see all the tables. And what we're interested in is the WP users table. Your prefix may be different, but your table is certainly going to be called users, so you will have that. So if you click on that, I can see I have a couple of users here. One user is called Vers Lewis and the other one is called Fred. So this is the one I, I don't remember my password to, I don't remember my email address, but who knows at domain.com certainly doesn't exist. So what I can do here is I can go and edit this table and then I can change several things here. So one thing is I can change my email address. That is probably the easiest one. So email addresses are being saved unencrypted in WordPress. So I could just change this and just make sure it's an email address unique to all the other users. So I could say this one I know will work. So I could just go and hit go and then go through what we've been through in the last couple of minutes when I've showed you that you can have your username and your password sent to this email address. So that's the easiest option, but you can even go one step further. You can directly change the password for a certain user here. Uh, this is a bit more involved, so if we stick with the Fred user, you go back and edit this, and over here the second value is user underscore pass, and that is in fact the user password. I don't recall setting up a password that complicated, uh, but the, what's going on here is the password is probably very simple, but WordPress does not save passwords unencrypted in the database. So this is very good news in case somebody hijacks your database and has a look at, hey, what's Jay's password? Well, they won't be able to figure this out because you can encrypt one way but not the other. And the way WordPress does this, or rather MySQL does this, is via a thing called MD5, and that's an encryption method built into MySQL. And we can make use of that as well. So if I wanted my password to be password, I can type that in here, but if I were to save this, I won't be able to log in with password because WordPress is going to assume this phrase is an encrypted phrase. Uh, thankfully, we can just go to this drop-down menu here and pick a value of what we want this to encrypt upon saving. So in this case, we'll select MD5 and then hit go. And if we do that, then we see that the user password has changed to this unbelievably long number here. You can go edit it again. If you think, well, actually, I would like this to be password123, pick MD5, hit go, then this is the phrase. So WordPress will be able to understand this. If we go over here to my installation, Go to the login screen, type in Fred, and type in password123. I will be able to log in. This is nice. So let's quickly recap our two options here. So in order to bring back the username or the password, all you do is you hit the forgotten password link wherever you log into WordPress. So if WordPress is installed in the root directory, that is yourdomain.com forward slash wp hyphen admin. And there's a link there that says forgotten password. And that will send you a link with your username and it will also allow you to set a new password. If you have forgotten the email or the email is no longer available that you can receive a link, then you have to go and edit the user table via PHP MyAdmin and either change your email there 
or change your email as well as your password there. And when you do that, when you change the password, remember that you have to pick MD5 from that drop down menu just next to it. And that was it. Thank you very much. That wasn't so hard. Keep watching. I will see you next time.